Uh, Legacies is back. Welcome back to Legacies and welcome back to Binge Twins TV. This is the place to be if you're a Legacies fan. In case you didn't know, this is Binge Twins TV. Go down and click subscribe. We just got back from the, the break for Legacies. <laughs> I think the time off was good Take for a step us back. all. Hopefully yeah. we can come back, reconvene, and move forward in a productive manner. My issue is the comeback episode started with a shot of Landon right off the bat. Uh, like our reaction was just like, oh. God, like, right, it's the first phase that you see once the episode starts. <laughs> we should just call the show Landon's Journey now, I guess, because his his storyline is essential to this show, I guess. We just have to accept that. Because now he's journeying out of this new whole new prison world now. Right. And, uh, and he certainly did something that he's never done before, which is whoop some bodies behind. Because Actually he did, did something absolutely cool. beat the necromancer to a pulp. Yeah, that was something that he's certainly never done before i've never seen him do anything like that before so we've been on this channel talking about and foreshadowing and predicting dark hope ever since she woke up but now she got her girl cleo miss cleo came in her sister girl about to get her right see but my only thing with cleo is she decides to become a student there and they ask her about parents and yeah, she's like no yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, me i don't trust nobody who comes into town or yeah. starts at the school i don't like new people in these kind of situations too and you automatically just instantly latch to the most powerful being in the school and you're telling her things like something inside you is very powerful how do you know how powerful who are you who are you who are, who are you? you that's the only thing i love cleo and i'm excited for potentially what that could mean and i think it's good that they brought in different actors, different characters. Cause honestly, the Salvatore school was a disaster. If I was a parent, I wouldn't want my child going there either. Let's be honest. Yeah, they weren't learning anything anyway. Right. It's like, I mean, please. They were watching yeah, Hope fight Josie on lunchtime in the in the gymnasium, in the boxing room. Like it was monsters coming all the time. I'm like, yeah, of course the school's about to shut down. This ain't even really a school if you think about it. It's just like a safe haven for supernaturals. Like, you know, this ain't, Alaric is not Charles Xavier. He's not teaching these kids how to use their power. I don't see none of that. I just see monsters and ghouls and goblins and witches. If anyone's gonna save Hope from a potentially dangerous situation with this new person, it's gonna be Lizzie because Lizzie's the one that's left mm. out and really feeling isolated now and she's gonna keep her eye on things as always. But we know who ain't struggling at all right now and that's Josie, Josie Saltzman, Saltzman thriving Living like never before. <laughs> My lord at Mystic Falls High. Who shows up right at her locker other than Dory? Dorian, the principal. <laughs> the whole principal situation Dorian. is just lined up perfectly. <laughs> we finally found Dorian. He's got a baby fro now and educating young, impressionable human minds now. Mm -hmm. He's off the supernatural kick. Rick, you can't just come to me saying, look this up anymore. I got my own gig. He's got his own jurisdiction. He's got a good like, gig right yeah. now. He's got real power. Stress-free, monster-free. Like, Dorian's living the life. Alexa, play Upgrade You by Beyonce. I'm gonna let me upgrade you. I feel like they're gonna need to bring Josie back at some point. I feel like it's just inevitable. I don't see this show lasting for much longer, honestly, with her being there permanently. I mean, J Josie is a witch and she's a very powerful witch. She still has roots. I mean, there's gonna come a point where the only last option that we have to defeat whatever evil or monster it is, is to bring in another witch that we know who might know the spell or the only one who we know can do the spell. Josie. Josie. We're gonna need yeah. Josie at some point. Yeah. You know Alaric I mean? almost had him a situation with that vampire. He sure did. He, he shut it down real quick. He did shut down. Don't Rick stays no ready. Rick stays he was ready. like, he's on a ship to Timbuktu or something like listen, that. Like, that's he why was... he's in our top five character. I mean, Rick, that's right. listen, Rick don't play. Rick he's does trained not play and games. he's ready. Even when you think he's off too, because he was very much in principal headmaster mode, yeah. trying yeah, to talk trying about to sell and, and stuff. Hey. That kid came out, he was <laughs> like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I'm the headmaster for a reason. And after know? that, he still was trying to sell him. Like, I still think this is the why you'll be that's just a mess. To get those That's a mess. Rick really is a mess. The point about Lizzie when she was talking to MG about how things are changing, let me know what you think about this with the show. I do feel like we are setting up for some really major character shifts and developments. When you look at Josie, when you look at 
Lizzie the MG even MG thank you that's Liz, I was yeah. getting to MG you know like so we're we're finally starting to see even the theme of this episode with Landon and Necromancer do something you've never done before let us know what you think about that because I that just kind of hit me you know I feel like maybe they're setting up for some really major character shifts going forward Landon's changing hope is changing Lizzie's right mm-hmm. there's a lot of change going on and and frankly people aren't satisfied with this show right now if you are if you're one of these people let us know your thoughts like Legacies fans on where you're at with this show with this season right now. I know a lot of people are, aren't satisfied right now, so yeah. some change might be needed. Next week's episode looks like it's one of those ridiculous, kind of silly, jokey, comedic like type Patrick's of episodes. Day, leprechaun. Type right, and, probably like, very so. that, yeah. yeah. As long as we can get to some serious matters within there, that's fine. But I think for now, I guess we'll just be tracking Landon on his journey to, to make it back. And meanwhile, Hope is convincing herself and ready to grieve Landon death so I don't know how long they plan on having hope just live her life maybe she's gonna get over Landon by the time he makes it back she won't be in love with him anymore we can only hope we're just viewers of Landon's journey at this point make sure you're subscribed to binge twins tv we're gonna be here for the rest of the season of legacies if you're a fan if you're friends with other fans just send them here we're just some twins in Jersey from Danielle Rose Russell's home state and we just like binging shows and watching movies so if that's your vibe then click subscribe down below for sure who do you think Josie will end up with between the girl and the quarterback both. <laughs> I think she's going to date both of them in a weird way. She's going to start by dating the girl and get serious. Then she's going to find out she has kind of a little crush on the guy at the same time. Then we're going to have a bisexuality conversation in the show. And then she'll have to make a choice.